Hello, people of the world! This is Jason is Lost, Japanese culture, adventure, and toys. And so here we are with a quick unboxing of this HG Gundam kit for Carter's Grey's Ritter. Now, you may have seen my previous unboxing video introducing all the kits that I bought from Japan, but I figured this kit should go first because I'm pretty sure this is the first kit that I saw when out shopping in Japan. What caught my eye was the fantastic art, how reasonably priced they are, how great they look coming straight out of the box. So let's do this kit first. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at the box here. This amazing artwork that really caught my eye in the first place. Uh, and this must be Carter. Uh, it's a HG high grade, uh, the most common line of Gundam kits. Uh, 1 to 144 scale there. Uh, Iron Blooded Orphans, this is the name of the show that it's from. I have started watching the series, but I haven't seen an episode featuring this uh, Gundam or Carter yet. Uh, here she's really cool, uh, and I'm so impressed by the, uh, the, the Gundam here that I can't wait. On the first side panel here, we've got number 17, number 17 in the Iron Blooded Orphans line. And along the bottom edge here, just a load of action poses. Uh, I'll also note that you can customize the shoulders if you've got the Barbatos kit. Right then, let's take a look inside. So, first out the box we have some grey pieces and the polycaps. First large set of runners out the box are some black pieces here. We've got the feet, I really love the uh, pointy boot style shoes there, and the sword as well. Note that the sword doesn't look how it appears in the photos, it's just a solid black piece. And on the reverse here we've got some green pieces and the stickers. I'm so, so pleased with the colour here. In some of the photos, the green can look very green, but this is teal. It's a really beautiful teal colour. I love the colour teal. Uh, and the stickers here, not that many. Uh, the red parts here being from the shoulder pads. Uh, red parts here, I believe that goes around the head or the uh, mohawk part of the head there. So just three bags in here, but there's a load of runners in here. Again, more beautiful teal parts. I'm really excited for putting this kit together. And a load of grey as well. That's going to be the frame and the weapons here, such as the axe and the gun. And lastly here, we have the manual. So on the front here, all Japanese. So I've noticed some manuals do have English, uh, but this is all Japanese here. Just again, giving you all the information that was on the box. And on the back here, again, the colour of the sword here, it's given you a silver and a gold and a black. Oh, and actually in the kit, it's just a gray piece or a black piece. Um, but again, some great shots. This is a color guide. We'll um, give you some ideas for, for painting it if you wish. If I open up the manual here, we've got a parts list and quite a few pieces aren't actually used. Uh, there's probably a few duplicate pieces. Um, doesn't look like there's any extra weapons that aren't meant to be included, uh, but lots of pieces that will at least you give you an opportunity to customize stuff. Uh, instructions here, um, body, shoulder, left arm, right leg, left leg. But we've also got some wonderful colored pages here for, well these are basic instructions for putting all the pieces together once you've constructed the limbs and the weapons here. Also here the instructions to customize it. This is the regular Carter's Grays written out the box, but you can replace the five parts and add the space thrusters to turn it into the space version. And as I mentioned before, if you've got the shoulders from the Barbatos here, you can take them off and put them on this kit. So once again, we've got the instruction booklet, a gray runner of polycaps, a very small, tiny runner, C runner for light gray pieces. Next up is this fantastic teal green uh, runner with the uh, shoulder pieces. And again, this fantastic teal, this runner here, the A runner here with uh, pieces for the legs and the space thrusters. Here we go with a black runner, runner E with the sword. Again, just one piece there, solid black. Uh, pieces for the head, and I'm guessing the soles of the feet there. Another grey runner here with, well actually I can't recognise anything on this runner, uh, but that's D2. Another teal piece here that fell off the runner, probably for the leg. And the last runner here, lots of grey, a solid piece for the axe, uh, pieces for the gun. Also here you've got the sensor eye for the head. And lastly, here's the sticker sheet. Not too many stickers, luckily. Uh, a few things for the head in red there and the sensor eye. Uh, also these large red stickers, they're the most prevalent just because they're on the shoulder panels there. But that's it. 
And there we are. Thank you very much for watching this little unboxing of Carter's Grey's Ritter. Up next will be the review, so do stay tuned for that. If you're enjoying these videos, please do subscribe, as it really does help, and I really do appreciate it. And it's not just toys on this channel. We've got plenty of videos about Japanese culture and my adventures in Japan, so do please take a look, and you might see something that you quite enjoy. As always, if you've got any questions or any particular Gundam that you're looking forward to seeing in the future, please do comment below. I do read everyone and I guess that's it for today so I'm gonna leave it there again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye